Hey guys, my name is Nathan, and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today, and if you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, because, you know, I make some awesome YouTube content for you guys. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I will be unboxing my very first designer item. I'm so excited. I've wanted this item for almost three years now, and I finally, I finally got enough money to actually buy the item, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Before the video actually starts and I start unboxing, let me know what you guys think I got. Anyway, let's get right into it. All right, guys, I hope the camera angle is good. I know it's kind of weird looking. I do apologize, and I hope the lighting is good as well. But here we go. We're sitting on my bed today for this unboxing, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know if you guys want to see more unboxing videos in the future because I'll be down to make some. But first, I got to get money to buy the stuff to unbox. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So, yes, guys, as you can see by this lovely bag, my very first designer item came from Louis Vuitton, okay? Now, I've been thinking about this for a while. Like I said, I wanted this item for, you know, about two years now, and I finally got enough money to buy it. But, so I, but I wasn't sure if I wanted it from Gucci, Louis Vuitton, or MCM, if you guys know what MCM is. Or any of those brands, I wasn't really sure. But then, this was the closest store to me, and I went to the store yesterday, and I was looking around, I'm like, oh my god, they actually have the one that I want. It was a lot of money, but it wasn't as much as I thought it was gonna be. And the people were there were really nice, so you're like, you know what, I'm gonna pull a plug here. But anyway, let's get right into it. You guys probably already know what it is by the size of the bag. If you watch other, you know, YouTubers that do unboxings like this, you probably already know what it is. But if you don't, stay tuned because I will be sharing it with you guys. Alright, so, in this bag, we have this box, okay? This box is covered in a piece of paper. You know, it's like normal paper. It's not Louis Vuitton paper or anything like that. But I do like the presentation because when you're spending this much money on something, you really, you know, should... I just showed what it was. Okay, anyway... Um, when you're really buying something this expensive for like no reason whatsoever They really should give you a nice presentation because like if you go to Walmart and you buy clothes or you buy groceries They're gonna give you a little plastic bag. That'll probably rip but uh, they give you a nice, you know Probably factory made bag from like them themselves I don't even know what this is made out of but it feels really nice It's really thick and then they even put a little piece of paper around the box they give you which is like it's a little thing but like every little thing counts i guess but when you take that off we got this little box it says louis vuitton on it if it'll focus it says louis vuitton it might be backwards for you guys i'm not quite sure but that does say louis vuitton on it and i think this box is so cool this box is definitely one of the coolest little boxes that I got just because it says Louis Vuitton on it and it's just it's the material of it is just so nice like it's not cheap material obviously when you're paying this much money why would they give you cheap material but it just feels so good but let's pull it out voila oh that was so satisfying you guys have no idea this box was made in Vietnam guys this box was made in Vietnam on the thing it says packaged made in Vietnam so that's pretty cool. You get that you get a little box made from Vietnam, even though the the item is made from uh, Italy, I think it is, or Spain. I think it's I think it's Spain. I don't really know, guys. But anyway, in this little box, we got this dust bag. Okay, you guys probably already know what it is now. But we got the Louis Vuitton dust bag, which is pretty cool. I really like this. I might keep it to, you know, put some stuff in. I thought that would be really cool. But yes, guys, I did get a Louis Vuitton belt, okay? Got my very first Louis Vuitton belt, and I'm so excited for it because I've always wanted one of these. And it's like one of those things, like when you get older, you're like, man, dude, I really want to save up for a nice car or a nice house or something like that. And when you finally have enough money and you go make that purchase, it just feels so good. So yes, I got my very first Louis Vuitton belt. Like I said, some of you guys might say I'm stupid. Why would you spend that much money on a freaking belt, Nathan? All it does is hold up your pants. Well, that's not the point. The point is that I really wanted it, and I finally bought it, and now I'm happy, okay? A lot of different things made people happy. You know, sports might make somebody happy. You know, playing video games might make someone else happy. Making YouTube videos might make somebody else happy. You know, everything, every unique thing in this planet makes somebody happy, and this is what makes me happy, so that's why I bought it. I'm not buying this belt to say, oh, Oh my god I have millions of dollars which I really don't I'm a kid in high school that just you know works two jobs and then finally gets a belt you know I'm not one of those people I'm rich let me just stun on everybody show them how rich I am so if I'm sounding like that I'm really sorry I'm definitely not trying to sound like that like look guys I have holes in my jeans that is how poor I am 
But anyway, let's get right into it. This belt is actually probably my favorite belt that they make. There was this other belt there. Well, there's two belts that I was choosing to, like choosing from besides this one. It was a black and silver one, and it had the LV print all around the belt. That was like $100 more, and I'm like... Okay, why would I spend a hundred dollars more when they have the belt that I want for a hundred dollars cheaper? Like, the only reason why I was thinking about getting that one is because it's black and, like, silver. It would go with things more easily. But I think this belt goes with a lot of things. Almost everything, unless you're wearing, like, neon colors or something like that, which, you know, I really don't wear neon colors. My palette is usually, like, a blackish, grayish, like, like plain colors. I don't like to wear anything bizarre. Like, right now I'm wearing black, red, and there's a little bit of green on the rose right here. But I don't wear anything that is bizarre. So, the belt that I got today is the Damier belt. I'm not quite sure what else it's called. I'm not quite sure if I said that right, but this is what it looks like. I hope it focuses. But yeah, this is the belt that I got. It's really nice. It says Louis Vuitton on every single square. Well, not every square, but like right there. And then it skips a couple squares and it says it again. But yeah, this is the belt that I finally got. This is the one that I've always wanted. And I wasn't like, I was actually really shocked that the store that I went to actually had this because I was gonna buy it online. But then all they had was like the new belts that they were making and they're all just so ugly. The only one they had online that I somewhat liked that I saw in the store, it was the same design, but it was black and then it was like a dark, like navy blue kind of color. And I didn't really want navy blue because that wouldn't go with everything. But I think this goes with everything. I really like the color of this. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you guys would've got like a different color or if you guys would've gotten this one. And I still have the plastic on it because I don't want to scratch it up. I'm going to save it. I'm only going to wear it when I, like, when, I'm only going to wear it probably on special occasions, like homecoming and stuff like that. And you guys are probably like, Nathan, why aren't you going to wear it every day? Well, if I wore it every day, I mean, I might wear it every day, I'm not sure. But if you do wear it every day, then the belt buckle will get little scratches on it. And that will drive, that will drive me crazy, actually. So, yeah, this is my very first belt. I'm going to show you guys some cinematic sequence with me with the belt on. So, if you guys do enjoy, like I said, thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys have any designer items or anything really expensive, let me know what it is. And, you know, obviously, a lot of you aren't going to have enough money to, you know, buy expensive stuff, and I totally understand, and I totally understand, because I barely have enough money, like, this was a stupid purchase by me, it was a stupid purchase, but like I said, I've always wanted it, so that's why I got it, and like I said, I, I just want to get this out there, I'm not trying to flex on anyone, I'm not trying to rub in you guys' face, oh, I just bought a $500 belt, or any of that, I'm just saying, like, I finally got something that I really wanted, so I hope you guys do enjoy, like I said, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, I'll catch you guys in the next video, thank you so much for watching guys i love you all peace out